What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my fantasy football starts and sits for NFL Week 4. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over each position and give you my fantasy football starts and sits for NFL this week. This should help you decide who you want to start in your season long fantasy football leagues. And we will show you how to use the draft dashboard tools to dominate your season long fantasy leagues. You can find waiver wire targets, get player point projections, find the best positional matchups. We also post a cheat sheet with the top 10 fantasy football players to start for each position. And we have the best and worst wide receiver cornerback matchups posted as well. We have it all right here, so let's get into it. Okay guys, NFL week four. I've got some fantastic starts and sits for you, so let's get into it. At the quarterback position, I'm gonna start Kirk Cousins from the Minnesota Vikings playing the Cleveland Browns, who have a good defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks, but Kirk Cousins has averaged 24.1 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's getting an average of one rush attempt per game. Not a big rushing floor, but he's throwing a ton of passes, and he has fantastic wide receivers. He's projected at 19.6 fantasy points here in week four, but I think he can score 20 fantasy points or more in this one. He's 7,500 FanDuel salary. He's 1,100 less on DraftKings, and Vegas thinks there's gonna be 52 points scored in this game with the Vikings trailing by one. So you got a close competitive game and a guy that's been lighting up the league scoring 22 to 25 fantasy points in each of his first three games. So I like Kirk Cousins here versus the Cleveland Browns. Okay, who are we gonna sit at the quarterback position? I'm gonna sit Ben Roethlisberger from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the Green Bay Packers who have a middle of the pack defense overall and although they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks, Ben Roethlisberger has only averaged 14 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 1.7 rush attempts per game. He's projected at 17 fantasy points here in week four. He's 6,800 FanDuel salary and 1,300 less on DraftKings. Now, if you don't have any other quality quarterbacks on your roster, I don't blame you for rolling the dice with Ben Roethlisberger because this is a pretty good matchup, but he just hasn't played well so far this season. He's been struggling, so I prefer to keep him on the bench. So I'm going to sit Ben Roethlisberger here versus the Green Bay Packers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. I'm gonna start Melvin Gordon from the Denver Broncos playing the Baltimore Ravens, who have the eighth worst defense overall, and they give up the six most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Melvin Gordon has averaged 14 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 14 rush attempts per game and 2.3 pass targets per game. He got 18 rush attempts last game and two pass targets, so he got 20 touches, that's what you want to see in your running back. And he's only projected at 11.3 fantasy points here in week four. But I think he can score 15 fantasy points or more in this matchup. And he's 6,200 FanDuel salary and 700 less on DraftKings. So I've been a big fan of Melvin Gordon since week one. And he's played pretty well under the radar. But I think he's worth a start here this week. 
and Vegas thinks there's going to be 45 points scored in this game with the Broncos favored by two. It's a great matchup. So I like Melvin Gordon here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, who are we going to sit at the running back position? I'm going to sit Miles Gaskin from the Miami Dolphins playing the Indianapolis Colts who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall and they're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing running backs. Miles Gaskin, he's only averaged 8.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 9 rush attempts per game and 5.3 pass targets per game. So not enough rush attempts in there for me, although I do like to see those 5-6 to six pass targets a game that's more helpful in the point-per-reception leagues. But in your traditional fantasy leagues, I don't think he's going to get there for you. He's only on the field for 55% of the snaps, projected at 11.7 fantasy points here in week four. He's 5,500 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. And Vegas thinks this is going to be a low scoring game. Only 43.5 points scored in this game with the Dolphins favored by one and a half. So I'm going to sit Miles Gaskin here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. This is one of my favorite starts on the slate or my favorite starts here in week four. I'm going to start Odell Beckham Jr. from the Cleveland Browns playing the Minnesota Vikings who have the third worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Now, Odell Beckham Jr., he made his first start in week three. He scored 11 fantasy points off of nine pass targets. He even got a rush attempt. He was on the field for 78% of the snaps. He's projected at 10.4 fantasy points here in week four, but I think he can score closer to 15 fantasy points or more in this one. I think he's gonna find the end zone He's 6,600 FanDuel salary and 800 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52 points scored in this game with the Browns favored by one. It's a fantastic matchup and he got nine pass targets last week. So I think he's going to do well this week and might even fly under the radar a little bit. So I like Odell Beckham Jr. here versus the Minnesota Vikings. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who are we gonna sit at the wide receiver position? So despite the good matchup, I think I'm gonna sit Robbie Anderson from the Carolina Panthers playing the Dallas Cowboys who have the ninth worst defense overall. They give up the third most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers, but Robbie Anderson, he's only averaging 6.3 fantasy points per game on the season. And even worse, he's only getting an average of 3.7 pass targets per game. Now he is on the field for 73% of the snaps, but only two pass targets last week, only scored one fantasy point. He's projected at 10.7 fantasy points, here in week four, he's 5,700 FanDuel salary and 600 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 50 points scored in this game with the Panthers trailing by five. I just think there's better options at the wide receiver position. I don't want to risk him getting only two or three pass targets in this game. So I'm going to sit Robbie Anderson here versus the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I'm going to start Noah Fant from the Denver Broncos playing the Baltimore Ravens, who have the eighth worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. 
Noah Fant has averaged 7.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.7 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 80% of the snaps. He's projected at 9.7 fantasy points here in week four. He's 5,700 fan dual salary and 1,400 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 45 points scored in this game with the Broncos favored by two. So this is a fantastic matchup. Noah Fant had a bad game last week. Only three fantasy points off of three pass targets. I think he has a big bounce back week here in week four. So I'm going to start Noah Fant here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, who are we going to sit at the tight end position? I'm going to sit Austin Hooper from the Cleveland Browns playing the Minnesota Vikings who have the third worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Austin Hooper, he's only averaged 6.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 3.7 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 64% of the snaps, projected at 7.2 fantasy points here in week four. He's 5,200 FanDuel salary and 1,500 less on DraftKings. So we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 52 points scored in this game with the Browns favored by one. So it's not a bad matchup. And if you're really struggling for tight end, go ahead and start Austin Hooper. But if you have someone better on your roster, for example, I would start like a Kyle Pitts or a Noah Fant or possibly even a Dawson Knox over Austin Hooper. So I'm going to sit Austin Hooper here versus the Minnesota Vikings. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.